Why Barb had the nerve to ask you? Do you want to meet us there or do you want me to swing by and come get you? Girl, who's gonna turn down get picked up in the Lambo? Okay. <laughs> well, Barbie said she didn't want to drive. I did not feel like driving today. <laughs> I've been driving all day, so we just decided to do a black truck. Okay. Am I worried? Yes. See, I decided to record with the me. with the Canon today, and for some reason, normally I do the Sony. Yeah, you know the Canons take forever to uh. Okay. So you guys, I didn't feel like driving today. You know, I had to pick up my best friend from the airport. An hour there, an hour back. I was just over it. I'm That's sorry, not <laughs> But it seems like he's sending them every month. And I like that. I love 
that for me. You know, and in between time, I just get me a little $10 flowers from Trader Joe's, but you know. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Period. <laughs> I literally just got finished doing hair. I've been getting a lot of clientele lately, which is like super amazing because I know that I have been like wanting that. So for the past, I would say like um, two and a half weeks, I've been having a client almost every day. And then sometimes like two a day, which is like pretty cool, which I'm absolutely like so grateful for. Oh, he sent me through the hump. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yes, and he sent me my chocolate. He know I love the chocolate. And he sent me some roses. Okay, I love me some roses, okay? Oh no, I was about to throw this away. I got another little, oh, I got a card. Let's see what he said this time. Ah. Today he says, in true love, the smallest distance is too great and the greater distances can be bridged. Will you be my Valentine for life? Love and miss you, Brandon. He asked me if I could be Valentine, y'all. Okay, let me read this again, because, you know, I, I be having to read things twice. In true love, the smallest distance is too great, and the greater distances can be bridged. Will you be my Valentine for life? Love and miss you, Brandon. Oh! Of course I'll be your Valentine. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's what the red rope. Duh, the red, the red heart. Will you be my Valentine? That is so cute. Yes, of course I'll be your Valentine. And eat me a piece of chocolate. So yeah, that was cute. That was a that was a great way to start the vlog, actually. I don't know why I put it past him to be like a gentleman and ask me to be his Valentine. I don't know. I guess I just wasn't. I didn't know what he was gonna do. Hey, Miss Richie. Hey. Okay. times that I start this vlog honestly um, I'm trying y'all these past couple of weeks have just been like super busy for me today is currently um, January the 3rd and I just got a lot going on I had a client who last minute scheduled an appointment and so I took care of her um, earlier today and then I got finished with her maybe like two three hours ago and then I ended up trying to rush and get myself together because Barb is hosting a Valentine's Day at her house today and then I also have to attend Vanessa's birthday dinner so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this I know Vanessa is also going out after her birthday dinner so I'm like maybe I should like skip the birthday dinner or come like or meet them at the birthday dinner and then just go out with them because Barb's that Valentine's was supposed to start at 7 but it's already 7 and I'm pretty sure like no one's there yet and I'm, I'm the one with the alcohol um, I had to go to Home Goods to get some like glasses and then she asked me to pick up the balloons. So now I'm about to head over to Party City to pick up the balloons. So I'm just on um I'm just on I'm on a, a duty right now, okay? So I'm just like I don't wanna just like pop in and then leave and go to the dinner. That doesn't make sense. So I did hang out with Vanessa yesterday. So I feel like I'm gonna have to skip my dinner Ooh, i really want to go to dinner and i already bought my dress for dinner and everything and then just hang out with them after because she wants to go to rock city so hmm, very stressful but i'm sitting outside home goods right now <laughs> i was looking for martini glasses but they didn't have any martini glasses so i ended up getting these really pretty cotton candy like flutes that i'm just gonna figure out what i would make and then i got some like cotton candy and then I ended up getting some gummy cotton candy for the drinks and then I got some gummy bears for um, Jayla. Jayla's in the same building so I'm gonna stop by her apartment and um, give her and Trey <laughs> these like be my valentine gummy bears <laughs> or be mine gummy bears but anyways and then I got all like the liquor and stuff and the triple sex so we can make some shrimp, strawberry lemon drops and then what else cotton candy frozen strawberries yeah and then this is like my little my little bag with my outfit for tonight y'all 
I'm just a little, a lot of it all over the place right now. I'm trying. I feel like I feel like I'm doing a damn good job right now. I'm trying, okay? Trying to be on time and very, very punctual. My car is two minutes away. I'm about to go to Party City to pick up the balloons, and then we're gonna go to Barb's house, and then we're gonna finish decorating, and then we're gonna have a cute little Galentine's. <laughs> we made it to Barb's house, and everything is so cute. Mama Barb is out here. Say hey. hey guys. <laughs> is it Mama Barb or Mama Bougie? Mama Bougie, my bad. Correct me, please. And then we got the cute little Galentine's gang decoration. Mama just put the balloons up. Ew. Period. We got the no boys allowed. Right. We don't like them. They gotta go. No boys allowed. That's my phone. Yeah. Oh. What you want, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Outside. Thought I'd end up a shine, but it wasn't a match. But some songs about Ricky. Now I listen and laugh. Even almost got married. And for Pete, I'm so thankful. Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm. Cause he was an angel. One taught me love. One taught me patience. And one taught me pain. Now I'm so amazing. To have loved and I've lost. But that's not what I see. So look what I got. Look what you taught me. Yeah, for that I say. Thank you. Next, next. Thank you. Next, next. Thank you. Next. I'm so fucking grateful for my. I dropped a swim line and Barb pulled up on me and she was all set. She pulled the little pink whip. Okay. okay this is before the Lambo. And uh, she does use it for the uh, video and stuff. So we've been locked in ever since. Hey y'all, I'm Naya and I met Barb through Instagram. Like we always talk through the DM. So. Through the DM. I follow you guys if you are in Instagram. Me and Barb, we knew each other from Instagram but while she was living in Texas. Okay, 
But I'm saying, but I'm saying, she could she couldn't wait to come back to Vegas because she's buying burgers. Do you get a burger? Yeah. What's it called? Black tap? Yeah. We gonna Maybe black tap. Maybe get a burger because it's so big. You sure? It's big. I'm hungry. Oh, okay, you can get a whole burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so hungry too. Okay. I don't know about that. Oh, she looks so cute. Barbie looking like a Barbie. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is cute. I was that drunk yesterday. I did not see this. This is cute. Uh huh. Okay, so it's a white. A short suburban. PD. We came all the way to the restaurant and they're only doing seatings for the Super Bowl, which is crazy. So now we're about to go to another restaurant. We gotta wait for our car. We're hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. Dang. and I have not been getting the content y'all I have not been getting the content it's crazy I've been so busy I've been so busy I've, like even right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I have not been to sleep I woke up yesterday at 11 o'clock and I've been up since yesterday at 11 o'clock a.m it's three o'clock p.m the next day and I'm still rolling it is currently Valentine's Day and my man coming in the time haven't seen him since Christmas, y'all. Ah! And I just got finished doing a client's hair. Y'all been booked. I'm so proud. I've been booked. Now that I'm like trying to find my rhythm of like, you know what I'm saying, taking care of my clients and stuff. Now I need to get in the rhythm of <laughs> content, y'all. I've been ghosting you guys. I've been in my the freak A on all platforms inconsistent like a mother freaker but i was trying to like balance y'all know before i won't really get clients like that like like that like that so now that i have you know what i'm saying i'm trying to find a little balance so anyway so i'm back i'm back and i'm ready i'm back and ready to tap back in into being that girl okay so yeah i look a little crazy right now y'all i've been Y'all should have saw me 10 minutes ago. I literally just threw on this wig. It's a closure wig. I'm waiting for it to kind of like air dry and do its thing. And I'm going to do my makeup and talk to y'all and catch y'all up. Hmm. So I've been trying to vlog though. Like as y'all can tell throughout this vlog, there's like been snippets of me like trying to vlog and get content. And it just hasn't been like fully successful. So the vlog might be all over the place. But hopefully I can edit it well enough for you guys to kind of just like follow along and enjoy the vibe slash slash ride <laughs> but um yeah so i think the last time i talked to you guys i was in vegas me and barbara in vegas she had invited me out there for the weekend because she was doing like some promo and stuff and working with some artists so we got there saturday saturday we had a really good time we had like, um, as soon as we, we stayed at the Cosmopolitan and as soon as we got there, we went to the bar, we had some drinks and stuff, and then we went back to the room. The room was absolutely gorgeous. Her friend had already got the room for us. And so that we were there chilling, we pre game we went out, um, we had a great time. And at the end of the night, we ended up getting Subway. Y'all haven't had Subway in so long. And I'm wondering now, like, hmm, because... 
we're gonna get to that but um yeah so i actually went to like a uh, like a not thai but like a japanese not japanese like a chinese spot kind of sort of like restaurant kind of like a panda express what's that is that japanese y'all don't judge me but it's, it, was, it was it was a restaurant style it, to me i compared it to like a restaurant style um panda express to be honest but um yeah and then we went back to the room changed and then we went out i don't know what club we went to but we went to some club and then and then we was there all night long that club was huge and packed i don't even know if i got content um with of that and then we went to subway and then we went back to the room so the next day i woke up at like noonish or whatever shot some content for barb and then um Oh, got dressed, shower, got dressed and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything's cute. Everything's a vibe. And, you know, I go downstairs and Barb's like, let's take a shot. And I'm like, girl, you don't want to eat first? And she was like, we're about to eat. Let's take a shot. So we ended up taking like two shots. And then it took us like literally three and a half hours to find something to eat. By the time we get to the restaurant, well, we went to a few restaurants, and the restaurants was not giving. And when finally, when we finally got to the restaurant that we was just like, you know what, we gonna settle for this, I started feeling sick, like it came out of nowhere. Like I was feeling very like nauseous, and um, my stomach was doing a lot of movement. It was like, you know how like it felt like you had to use the bathroom, and I'm like. Do I gotta throw up? I'm nauseous. Do I gotta use the bathroom? My stomach doing all this crazy stuff. And when I saw every, like, literally every maybe like 15, 20 minutes at the restaurant, I'm like, girl, I'll be right back. I go to the restroom, don't use the restroom. I did puke a few times. And I know that's probably like TMI, but your girl was not feeling good. So we were sitting at the restaurant during the Super Bowl. I only made it to the halftime. We finished the halftime after the halftime. We had to go because I was feeling so sick. So we ended up going back to the hotel and I laid down and once I lay down, literally every 15, 20 minutes, I'm up in the bathroom, you throwing up and I was just like really, 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 really sick all night on Sunday, which was so sad because the Kansas City Chiefs were playing, which is my pop's favorite team. And they won, and I didn't even get to see them win. Because when I was watching the game, I was like, what is this? They were, like, not playing well. So they definitely came back. Apparently, I still haven't even watched it. But, yeah, so that was that. So that was my first time in Vegas, y'all. I've never been to Vegas before. And um, that was my first time in Vegas. The first night was cool. The second night, I was sick as a dog. And everyone went out, and they had a great time. And, you know what I'm saying? It is with a baby they was just with everybody and i was just like oh. i missed it but you know what i'm saying it's cool it's all good it's all gravy because i just have to go back matter of fact me and brandy gonna have to go we need to go when it's warm outside because it was cold actually me and my mama need to go me and my mama need to go to vegas because not when it's cold because it was cold when we went when this weekend it was cold um I'm over here trying to find my makeup brushes so I can finally start my makeup. Mm. Okay, let me just start my makeup. Let me do a little bit of moisturizer real quick. Actually, I'm going to use this Lancome Genifique Serum to kind of like moisturize my face. You know what I'm saying? Oof, that felt so good because my face was feeling like dry. Even though it's not dry, it just felt a little dry. But, um... Yeah, me and my mom, we're gonna have to go to Vegas when it's warm outside and have a ball. Me and my mom and my godmom. That'll be a vibe. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. We're gonna have to go to like some cute like island <laughs> or Tulum or something. <laughs> but Vegas, I think Vegas should be for like me and my mom. And my godmom, we're gonna, we gonna have a ball. <laughs> but, um, yeah. What was I saying? So yeah, it's Valentine's Day now. I hope I'm not boring, y'all. Oh my god. This vlog, I know, it's, I don't know. Hopefully, it's not the worst vlog ever. But um, it's currently Valentine's Day, and I, like I said, I have not been asleep. I stayed up all night, and I was just like trying to figure out because y'all was sick for the past couple of days. And I thought that when I came back from the trip, you know, I start planning for 
um, Valentine's Day and stuff, but I didn't get a chance to do that because I got booked up. Um, surprisingly, there was a few people where their stylist had canceled on them last minute. Um, actually, majority of them, it was like half of the clients that I served these past two days, their stylists had canceled on them on the last minute and they so happily have found me. Um, some on Instagram, majority on Instagram and then do, through hashtags and then um, it was one person, word of mouth, and then another one, she was just a returning and well two was a returning so yeah I was just I was so busy and I was not expecting that so I didn't really get a chance to do what I wanted what I thought I was gonna do plus I was not even feeling well I was pushing through what helped me push through my job I was pushing through with tummy with the tummy bug and everything and what helped push me through was me thinking about Kim Kardashian because I've been like watching binge watching the Kardashians I've been watching the episodes over and over and over and over and over again this last season well, the last few seasons on Hulu, and Kim was like, they was like, do you have any advice for women, working women, or something like that? She was like, get your ass up and work. I was like, what would Kim Kardashian do? She would get her ass up and work. So I was like, let me get my ass up and work. Oh my God. So that's what I've been doing. And then, long story short, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just a mess right now. I'm going to basically set up a super cute dinner for me and Brandon. I'm going to cook dinner and I'm going to try to do like, this is my first time doing something like this. Like a cute at home setup. So hopefully all my stuff come in in time from Amazon. And um, yeah. And then we're going to, once he gets here, we're going to go to the grocery store and get some uh, groceries and then hopefully by the time we've done grocery shopping all the packages will be here and then i'll like send him off to like the abc store or the liquor store to go get like a bottle or something and while he's doing that i'll um set everything up so everything could be cute so yeah i'm like I hate that. I'm really not a last minute person. Let me stop lying. I am definitely a last minute person with almost everything. And I hate that for me. But my last minute thoughts be so thoughtful. I swear. <laughs> but I just wish that I planned this earlier. And not last night. Because. Ooh child. I'm stressed out. And then my client earlier today, she was late. She was 30 minutes late. But she lived in the building, so I wasn't really, like, I wasn't sweating it or whatever. She's cool, people. And plus, um, because she had hit me up and she had asked if she could, if, no, we had talked about doing her install yesterday, but I never, like, scheduled her and she never booked. So someone had ended up booking at the same exact time. So I had to like move her from yesterday to today, which is the only reason why I ended up doing hair today because I had blocked off my schedule for today because I wanted the entire day to do this. So actually I did pre-plan because I blocked off my entire schedule for today specifically so I could, you know what I'm saying, do what I need to do, um, do any like last minute runs or whatever, but it's okay. It's all right. It was my fault because I definitely could have and should have, if not scheduled her in, just blocked off that time that we had talked about. But I had like totally forgot, so that was like definitely on me. Mommy ain't got interview tomorrow, bro. Please wish him luck because uh, you know he's trying to move down here and we want Brandon to move down here, so we need him to secure this position so he can bring his tail down here. So yeah, he has an interview tomorrow. So I'm using for foundation, I'm using my Lancome um, Ultra Wear Foundation in 445 Neutral in. And um, this is like my first weekend using it or week using it. Um, I started using it um, Saturday when I went to Vegas and I feel like I really liked it. But to be honest, y'all, I was a lit Saturday, so I don't know. And when I look back at the picture that I posted on Instagram, I was like, girl, why did you edit your face so hard? We is trying to get away from that. 
we trying to give natural beauty, okay? We are not trying to give cartoon character. I'm like, what in the hell? But I don't want to take it down. I already posted it, but I'm like, what was you doing? My eyes must wasn't working because <laughs> it must was blurry. Because I'm like, I would have never posted that sober. But, um, yeah, my camera is literally about to overheat. So let me just do the basics of my makeup and then I'll be right back. I feel like I look a little orange. But this is neutral. I think it definitely has to oxidize, probably. The first time I heard the word oxidize was when Fenty came out with the foundation. And everybody kept saying, like, oh, y'all wait for it to oxidize. Y'all wait for it to oxidize. And I'm like, what is oxidize? That was the first time I heard it oxidize. But um, that's what I'm thinking when it comes to this foundation. Because I don't think that my foundation was looking orange that night. I don't know, but we'll see. Because I haven't worn makeup since then. Um, so, well, since Sunday afternoon, evening, early evening. Because when I went back to that room, y'all, I was, ooh, I was tore up. Sick. Toe up from the flow up. Crazy. Y'all don't even understand. I've never had a stomach bug in my life. And that thing took me out. Ooh, but for concealer, I'm using Lancome's concealer, Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 470, and I think that this is the perfect um, concealer for me. And the reason why I say that is because when I apply this to my face, like if you just want to do like a natural, like. Um, well, for me, if I wanted to do like a natural makeup look, I would literally just use this concealer because this concealer is the exact complexion, is the exact shade of my complexion, is the exact complexion of my shade, is the exact shade of my complexion. <laughs> but I was like, I don't like the exact shade of my complexion because I look light. I'm like, why do I look? I mean, that's the, that's my skin tone. But when you even it all out, when you when you put the concealer on. And you even it out it just looks like i look like like a light brown like light skin low key and i'm like i'm not light skin because i have we have like different dimensions in our face or whatever so i'm just like i can't just walk around here with just concealer on or maybe i was doing it wrong i don't know so i did end up doing like some contour and stuff to kind of like add some dimension to my face because i was like uh, -uh i don't like this but I'm also going to go in with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer in 34.5 Neutral. I like neutral tones. I think this is neutral as well. Oh, this is warm. No, this is cool. Or 62W. I think this is cool. This concealer is cool. And then this is neutral. It has a... Yeah, this is neutral. Just to add a little bit of brightness underneath my eye. Damn. And I guess right here too. I mean, normally I don't do that, but I'm going to do it today, I guess. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for just a little bit. And then I'm going to, I'm thinking about taking my brush or my beauty blender. What y'all think? This camera is so crooked. Y'all, we raw this vlog, okay? Brush or beauty blender? What y'all like to use underneath the eye concealer? My camera about to overheat again. So I'm like, I'll be back. I think I'm going to use, I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to let y'all know when I get back. So I ended up using a brush. I think I'm just going to use a brush for my entire face. I think I used a brush to blend my concealer. And now I'm using a brush to do a little bit of contour. Um, I'm using Cheeks Out. Cheeks Out Toffee Tees. Cream um, Bronzer by Fenty. I'm telling y'all, this is very raw, so don't judge me on the lack of creativity on this segment. <laughs> and uh, I think I kind of lost my touch. Not I think, I know I lost my touch in regards to like applying makeup and doing makeup, but um, definitely want to tap back into that. 
I, mean, I need to watch me some, I need to go on YouTube University and watch me some makeup tutorials so I can relearn how to do my face. Or just like use new techniques because obviously like techniques has definitely evolved and gotten better. Especially I be walking around, I be seeing girls, I be like, Zayn, she like she got her face professionally beat. And they girls be doing their own makeup and they be looking so good. And I'm like, oh, what an artiste, okay? So I need to, with my creative self, I need to get on YouTube University and learn how to do my makeup. Hello? Hi. You know they don't call me while he at work. No, it's loud in the background. You can't even hear me. What'd you call me back for? You could have just texted me and said, is everything okay? Yeah. Got me over here screaming on the top of my lungs. But anyways, yeah, I need to get my tail back into, I need to enroll into YouTube University. Or maybe, maybe the girlies is knowing how to do their makeup real good because they're on TikTok. And they're not watching long form videos anymore. They're watching short term videos. And everybody's a fast learner nowadays. I don't know. So maybe I need to get on TikTok University. Is that a thing? Is this one called TikTok University? And learn how to do my makeup. Because I don't think I'll be doing it right. But we're going to do what we know best. And I'm going to use this blush, I mean <laughs> brush, to blend out my makeup as best as I can. I don't even be using setting powder. Like, I mean, I don't even, I don't, yeah, I don't even be using setting powder. I ain't going to lie. Because I don't even have any more setting powder. I just be making up stuff. So, um, but lately I've just been using this press powder. Well, it's a, it's a powder foundation from, from MAC Studio Fix. This is an NC50. Um, this is just a shade brighter. Well, they say it's my complexion, but I'm like, this is too bright. I just use it to um, blotch out, or not blotch out, but like kind of like set my highlight. And for this, I'm going to use not a brush. I'm going to use this triangle sponge beauty blender. And I'm just going to sit underneath my eyes like that. You know what I'm saying? I be doing like a little natural thing. Well, I can't say natural because I definitely got a full face of makeup on. But um, it be looking natural and not not um, on purpose. It be looking natural on accident. I feel like it be looking natural. But on accident, because I be wanting to look like my face is beat. I want to look like I went and got my face professionally done by the professional, which is Najee. I'm trying to be a professional makeup artist, okay? Not for other people. When when I first got into, like, well, I've always been into beauty, but my thing was I wanted to do everything. I wanted to do hair, makeup, um really just hair and makeup and then just be like that fashion girly but I think because I wanted to do everything and I didn't double down on what it was that I really wanted to do I think that's what kind of hindered me um because like I wasn't known for something I just was that girl who did everything and that DIY type of girl who did everything and I didn't want to do I didn't want to I, don't, I think that's what probably kind of hindered me because even if that was the case, I didn't even brand myself to be that. I didn't. I was trying to do other people's hair, other people's makeup, you know what I'm saying? And what I should have did was just did my own hair and makeup and just flourished in that industry as a content creator, as the girl that you go to to learn how to do your hair and makeup and not trying to market and get clientele and sell products and wigs and all that stuff like i did feel like that just made my life so much harder but i'm figuring it out y'all i'm definitely figuring it out i definitely love um making wigs and stuff um and i love doing hair i love connecting with people um, I haven't touched anyone's face with makeup in years, so I'm not even going to, like, dive back into that. Don't feel like it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's going to make Najee life a little bit easier and still yet successful. Like, okay, yeah, I don't, my camera shut off. I don't even know where I left off at birth. 
She's so tired. She's so funny. Barb is, uh, she's like, did you get the cash app? Because I did her hair last night. She's like, did you get the cash app? You didn't let me know how much. She done sent me too much. I said, girl, I'm about to send you some money back because first and foremost, you brought your own color yesterday. I'm not about to, no, I'm about to send you money back. So I'm waiting for her to, to respond to let me know which cash app. What's wrong, Nala? She wants me to re send the money back because, girl, but that's what I'm talking about. Friends who don't try to get over on you. Friends who hate you for your services. That's a friend. Cause I don't I would never ask or expect a friend to do a service for me for free. Ever. I would never ask and I would never expect, nor would I ever accept a friend of mine doing a service for free. Like I just would never know. Like that's just not cool to me. Um, especially when that's your work. That's what you do. No. And Barb, I'm trying to think. Barb has never questioned me, my prices, no nothing. And has always been willing and more than willing to pay for services. And I really appreciate that about her. She's definitely, she's definitely, we definitely lady. you know what I'm saying? You don't come across people like that, you know what I'm saying? Don't come across people like that. Especially, like, people that's in, like, in your circle. People that's, like, you know what I'm saying? Your peoples. Strangers? Yes, of course they'll pay. You know, but, you know. Y'all know how that goes. don't be overcharging like Atlanta prices be crazy like I, I've heard that like sew-ins be costing like $400 my traditional sew-ins are 175 child one I work from home it ain't that deep you can't get no shampoo and um shampoo and treatment in my studio <laughs> so you know I just don't but even $400 is still a lot I feel like for a traditional sew-in when hair is not included I think that's crazy no bundles included on that y'all tripping so yeah by the way if you're in atlanta and you want a tradition traditional sewings are my favorite well sewings in general are my favorite but traditional sewings specifically are definitely my favorite and i only charge 175 and if you want to get your hair slayed by my jamie wire hit me up hit me up hit me up mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think, do so I want to do like an eyeshadow? I don't think I want to do an eyeshadow, but I might do like a cute little brown situation. Keep it very like neutral. Because men don't like all that makeup. Majority of men. I'm not going to say men don't like all that makeup. Majority of men don't like all that makeup. Like, they just like a little natural. If you're going to do makeup, make it look a little natural. Not all them colors. Like when y'all see the girlies doing like valentine's day looks with like the pink and red and golds and glitters and stuff that's for us that is not for the guys you're not gonna go on a date with your man with your makeup looking like that that is definitely for us in our entertainment our eyes and their eyes are completely different um for the most part so <laughs> i'm gonna try to do just a little natural little brown little smoky eye situation with a little bit of shimmer and call it a day, but my battery's about to die. So, I think I'm just gonna, and my camera's overheating again, Jesus Christ. I'll just come back when my makeup and hair is finito. By that time, he should be close, and y'all get to see Brandon. He's always like the highlight of my, blog, my vlogs lately. He just made me so happy, y'all. He made me so happy. Well, he doesn't make me happy. He contributes to my happiness, like, hands down. Such a sweetheart. Such a teddy bear. Love him down. Love him down. How? Why? Okay. So, I didn't even realize that I still had product in this hair. I still had conditioner in the hair, which is why it was not drying. Normally, this hair dries super fast, and I'm like, why is my hair not dry? So, I went to go blow dry it, and I'm like, feeling it. I'm like, wait, there's conditioner on my hair? So now I have to, my makeup is done for the most part. Yeah, my makeup's done. 
I have to get in the shower. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have to get in. I have to get in the shower, wet my hair, and I'm just gonna let it air dry and do rock out and do what it does today, cause I don't have the time. And I'm trying to decipher if I want to run to Party City and get the balloons or not. But then I'm just like, I don't want to do that. That's like a waste. By the time I get to Party City, he'll be here. So it's like, I wanted to do like this big old surprise, like valentine's day dinner but that's just i don't think that that's just gonna pan out so what i'm gonna do is i think what i'm gonna do is just make this like a cute like thing that we do together we set up the table together he keeps me company while i cook and we talk and i think that just literally just came to my mind i'm like why why not just do that like why not just do it together this is your first valentine's day together so just like do it together. So yeah, when he gets here, we're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna go grocery shopping together. And so that way we can spend some time together. I don't have to send him off to the liquor store. And then, no, I wanna be with him because he's like, he's it's, it's what, Wednesday? And he's leaving on Saturday or Friday. I think he's leaving on Saturday. So yeah, I'm gonna spend time with him. So we're gonna make this a together thing today. Screw it. More fun for me, less stressed, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower, literally just to wet my hair, like to rinse all of this like conditioner out. Cause ooh, I tried to blow dry. I was like, wait a minute, what is going on? All this product. I, like, what I just washed it. It's conditioner. I never rinse the conditioner out. So yeah, I'll see y'all when Brandon get here. Wait, should I put on some cute? Or can I just rock out looking like a little tomboy? I just feel so comfortable around him. I don't even care. I feel like these on my hair and makeup is enough. <laughs> or should I get cute? I mean, I do look cute. I am cute. I don't want to dress all sexy to be cute. Right? Or should I dress sexy? I don't want to dress sexy. I just want to chill. Especially since we go to the grocery store and stuff. Yeah. Because technically not, Nala is fatherless. She's <laughs> Huh? You ain't get Nala a doll tree. Oh, Nala, we gotta go get you a doll tree, Sugarfoot. Why she like that? she's excited to see her um her adopted father. Huh? It's warm, ain't it? Okay. I tried to get you some more, but the same everything else was tore up. I couldn't do the tore up. The, 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 flowers? the flowers was dead. Yeah, I know. Cause, cause oh, like, like oh, all God. the flowers are sold out. Sold Balloons out. sold out. Oh, everything sold Early, out. So I just went with a couple singles to make Thank it look, you. make it make sense. I appreciate and, it. Yeah, so, uh, you Even though he just had me some flowers delivered, they did now. Yeah, I know. That's why I got you something else. It wasn't what I wanted. But it's, it's okay. Something, something it's still beautiful. I got me some rosy now. And I got me some chocolate. Did you pay attention to these chocolates? Yeah. It's an assorted. So there's probably something in there. Maybe. Why you get the chocolate that's filled with stuff? These, sometimes these are. No, you have to read. This just says milk, dark, and, and white. I like the chocolate with the cherries inside, oh, with the white stuff inside. We gotta go back and get some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And I got me a card. I can read this. I can read it. I had to. I had to do it real quick. Surprise your sweet with a beautiful bouquet. While supplies last, shop in store or online. Terms apply. Was that true? He said, when we first met, I remember not being able to take my eyes off of you. Okay. Hmm. I remember how connected I felt to you and how perfect you were. I 
I remember thinking that I could never be more in love than I felt. I hope you love me more now. Yeah, of course. Oh, and yet here we are now, and I am aww, yeah, yeah. even in yeah. deeper love with you. Life gets better with every moment we share. Happy Valentine's Day! Thank you for being mine. You always know the right things to say. Oh, you already know vanilla candles are my favorite. And I don't have no vanilla vanilla. I don't have any vanilla candles in the house right now. Oh, you don't? I don't have any candles at all in the house. Oh, other than tiki candles. First things first is party ready. Type it in. Oh, at a screensaver. I look sexy over there. Type in party city. I'm gonna tell you which one it is. The one on T shirt. Yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, I think that's it, y'all. 2.3 miles is 24 minutes. Oh, let me see. Oh, maybe because of traffic. Let's go. Let's get her in. Let's get her done. I'm going to open my chocolate now. I'm hungry. I ain't eat all day. You haven't eaten all day? We're going to eat good tonight. We're going to eat good tonight. Huh? I know that chalk is good as shit. Mm. You can like what you like and everything. I remember the the, the, the stuff, but I know for a fact and like that chalk is good. Like cherries and like. I know that shit. All that type of feel stuff. Ah! Oh, that didn't even move. Yeah, I wanna go pull off too fast. Ain't know where to go. That way. Are we talking? Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that. It don't matter what we're talking. It don't matter. Good, I'm gonna give you a dump drop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how it tastes. Alright, we'll see y'all later. We're about to go to Party City. <laughs> Thank you. Made it back in the crib. And I guess we could do a quick little grocery haul. Might as well drag the vlog out for a little bit longer. So we stopped by Trader Joe's. First thing first. Well, the first thing I just pulled out of my bag. I don't know. It's the spring mix leaves. So strawberries. So pimples, turkey, burgers, beef patties, good old Greek yogurt, I swear groceries, salmon, orange peak mango juice from Trader Joe's, flank steak. So this is going to be my first time making flank steak, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff it with some good stuff and cross my fingers that it tastes good. <laughs> Belgian waffles, these are so good and it pisses me off that they only have four in a box. French vanilla ice cream. Whipped is heavy. Whipping is light. That was the um, conclusion. That was the Argentina shrimp. Those are some cinnamon sugar bread. I don't even have to do nothing to it. All I gotta just dip it in some egg and you got some French stuff. So we got French toast, mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. The only reason why I know of shiitake mushrooms is from um, Austin Powers. Cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese, Thyme, fresh mushroom. My all time favorite flatbread. If y'all ain't learned nothing from me, if y'all ain't jockling from me, if y'all ain't cop nothing from me. Actually, anyways, um, mushroom black truffle flatbread is so good for Trader Joe's. Add some Parmesan cheese. If you got some turkey pepperoni, add some turkey pepperoni with a little bit of. Um, like chili powder and stuff and, and 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 a little bit of garlic salt so unnecessary but it's so good asparagus turkey bacon chicken sausage chocolate cake these are my favorite frozen desserts actually these are one of my favorite frozen desserts from trader joe's 
The apple blossoms are really good as well with some vanilla ice cream and some caramel. We also got some caramel topping. Yes, but I don't think it's given that tonight. I thought it was until I was put on to the apple, mini apple cinnamon dessert pies. Yes. And mozzarella cheese. I don't know if I said it out loud. These are the teeny tiny apple pies. Signature pies made with juicy, apple, juicy apples topped with brown sugar crumbles. Blueberries. Some pink salt. Y'all, the entire time I've been lived here, I've never had salt in this house at all. And some black pepper. I think I haven't had black pepper in months. I don't know. I've just been using a whole bunch of other stuff. That's crazy. So I don't know if y'all have tried, haven't tried these. I ain't never tried this before, but this just looks so good. It got the chili, onion, crunchy. Crunchy chili onion, crunchy chili onion, and olive with dried garlic and peppers. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but this look good, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna taste good in the flank steak, but we gonna see. Ginger beer, all time favorite. Always gotta re up on my tuna. I already had two, but you might as well, might as well get two more. Caramel sauce, garlic powder. Y'all, the refrigerator data was empty, okay? Definitely need to get some groceries. Some minced garlic. That's gonna make my life a hell of a lot easier because I feel like I'll never um, get to finish my garlic before it goes bad. But now that it's already missing in a jar, I'm cool. I don't know why I ain't thinking that a long time ago. We got the olive and basil pesto sauce. This is gonna be so good in the pasta, oh my God. Sun dried tomatoes and some onion salt. Pastured eggs. Now this is just me being greedy, y'all. Snickerdoodle cuckoos. Snickerdoodle cookies. Snickerdoodle cookies. It just sound and looks so good. I'm like, you know what? Let me try one right now. Nala running over here like it's a treat for her. Oh, she not running over here. She running over there. Mmm. space in my bar to sit and have dinner so we're gonna finesse and be creative tonight so i'm waiting for that stuff to come in um hopefully it gets here by 10 o'clock it said by 10 half of the game and half of it didn't so um yeah hopefully that comes in by then so that way this will run smoothly oh he must locked up The entire time I lived here, y'all, I did not have steak knives. So I went ahead and I got some steak knives. We need some steak knives. 
fake knives. We need some nice, good cutting knives. And I saw that these were pretty decent at a reasonable price called Black. I'm hoping that, I'm not even gonna say that out loud because it might not even be, so I'm not even gonna say that out loud. But I like them, they're nice. All black, you know what I'm saying? Sexy, cute, you know what I'm saying? Grown and get what it needs to get. The theme is like grown and sexy tonight, you know, black, red, gold, green because of leaves, you know? Um, I even got, this is a lot actually. What the hell? I got a lot, not a lot. That's not what I meant to say because that's not what I meant to do. But I got some um, black silverware, fork, spoon, knives, you know. I mean, I guess I could have went the plastic route, but I didn't want to go the plastic route. I'm grown. I'm trying to be grown and sexy. I want all metal, hard, glass, solid, big stuff. They're pretty small, but they're decent. These are these aren't plates. These look like pasta bowls, but that's fine because um, for our starter, we're definitely having pasta, and then for our main dish, because we're having protein. I mean, we're having uh, what do you call it? We have a what is it? Starch? What is that? Pasta? We have in carbs in our um in our starters. So for our main dish, we're just having protein and veggies. So this will definitely fit in here. And then for dessert, I should have got some little plates for dessert, but we're just gonna have to rinse one of these out and reuse it for dessert. So yeah, cause it's only four came in, but this is so cute. I'm gonna link everything um, down below in my Amazon storefront. So yeah. Sure. 
bring it through. Yeah, buddy. Oh. You think it's going to be good? <laughs> what did I hope so. I hope so. He he he. Really just making up shit right now. Are you excited? This <laughs> <laughs> is the only one I can say that I. Shouldn't I be like doing something like this? Or should I just tie it when it's all rolled up? I say tie it when it's all rolled up. Okay. It's rolled, ain't it? Well, it's time to the other side, but it's wrong. Yeah, us, I mean, our parents, I think. Or our parents and then their expectations on us. Yeah, that do look it do? Yeah, yeah. It look good for real, Yeah, Which side look better? Mm -hmm. It look too red. I don't just think rare. So even if it is rare, it's still cooked. Yeah. But it's not rare, I'm just saying. It's not really. I look at it. With on that, the camera, with that light, yeah. but not in person. Yeah, in person, no. Yeah, that's all that matters. This is so. I 
was halfway done doing what I was doing, and some shit blew up in my face, caught my face on fire, squashed my beard, eyebrows was gone, mustache burnt up, all that. Skin was peeling and it was, it was, it was bad for a while. I, I, was, I was fucked up for a while on that shit. But luckily, all my stuff, you know what I'm saying, came back the way it was supposed to. A lot of love. Uh, Andy wanted me to know. Coco brought a surprise. Sometimes you're not going outside in the sun to cook yourself. Yeah, Coco brought a surprise. But this vlog ends it on a beautiful note. This bouquet, oh y'all probably already saw it, obviously. He did a really good job putting this together. So cute. Cause I would have not. It's my first one. Really? It's just a natural, huh? It's just a natural. So the next one's gonna be even like, even. I don't even know how you get better, but even. You gotta play with the flowers though, like do different type of flowers and stuff. See what goes with what, different colors and stuff. I, I know about like some of the roses, some of the meanest with the different colors and stuff. Why, how do you know about roses? Because. For what? They got in with the numbers and stuff. For what? Who am I looking at? 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 Who am I Longs them with 200 roses. I believe, I believe the so. big ones. I so. Don't say they don't say they got it. You know what I mean? I believe so. I gotta I gotta double check. And then you can wrap yeah. you can wrap some words around it. Do I really know? Just throwing it out there. Sometimes you gotta tell people what you like. You do, you're supposed to. Yeah. But so that way you know. But I, I already have a general idea.